Hi friends, Brianna here again, manager of theatrical and early childhood experiences at Miami Children's Museum. And I am so glad that you could make it to this video celebrating Earth Day. Earth Day first came about in 1970, 51 years ago. And today it is celebrated all across the world by about a billion people. It is a day where we, as a human collective, should take a look at the world that we live in and make an active decision to look after our environment and take action to preserve what we have around us. So Miami Children's Museum has a PSA announcement for you today all about plastic. Plastic is bad for the environment. If not disposed of correctly, it can end up in our oceans and lakes and rivers and, and harm the things that live there. It could end up in landfill and plastic takes about a thousand years to break down. So it just sits there in or on the earth for thousands of years. And some plastic cannot be recycled. And some plastic that can be recycled is actually not recycled by people. So we should just use less of it. And here is a video to tell you a little bit more. Take it away. Yeah, I went fishing down by the sea, down by the dock with my young one and me. We tied up our bait and cast out a line, hoping to catch us a big one this time. A big one, a big one. A really, really big one. A big one, a big one. We're gonna catch a big one. We waited and waited until something bit. I think it's a big one, it has to be it. I reeled it in, and to my surprise, staring at me were two big bulging eyes. His teeth were gigantic, as big as a ship. I hauled it on board, I both started to tip. We took him straight home and cooked up a feast. For seven straight days, we supped on fried beast. And every day since, I returned to sea. Hoping to catch one as big as was he. A big one, a big one, a really, really big one. A big one, a big one, we're gonna catch a big one. <coughs> ah, oh, that really hits the spot. You can't do that, G-Paw. Why not? Because so many things live out there. My teacher, Ms. Sanchez, says the ocean is home to one million living species. You can't go throwing trash into their homes. What am I supposed to do with it? There's no... Oh. <laughs> <Is> it... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh, <this>. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Paul, what are you doing? You got throat. I found a frog in there this morning. No, I mean with all those bottles. What do you mean? I'm throwing them in a trash can. Isn't that what you wanted me to do? But you're using so much plastic. It's wasteful. Yes, good for business. I'll just make more. I worked for 40 years in a plastics factory. There's one thing I know, it's bottles. Gave me a job when I was your age. I'm seven. Oh yeah, I was the fastest bottle stacker in the history of the company. <laughs> Those bottles would come down the line, I'd stack them. The faster they come, the faster I'd stack. <laughs> we make them, people throw them away, we make some more. It's the way of the world. But, Grandpa, a lot has changed. There are so many more people now. Every day, people use more and more plastic. And the factories have oh, to keep up. It's getting a little speedy. The harder the factories work, the more pollution they make. 
More plastic means more pollution oh no. in the air. And when the air gets polluted, the planet gets warmer. And when the planet gets warmer, the sea levels ah! rise. So what can we do about it? That's why I use this, g -Pa. I only ever have to use one, so not as many have to be made. Whoa! You know, Miss Sanchez said, there are other ways children can use less plastic. For example, don't use straws at a restaurant. I mean, what is a straw good for? Absolutely nothing. I said, what is a straw good for? Absolutely nothing. A plus, g -Pa. You could also use your own forks and spoons for lunch and use a reusable bag in the supermarket. Well, I guess you're right. But what's an old geezer like me supposed to do? I don't have a fancy schmancy water bottle like you. Well, that's okay, g -Pa. I always carry a spare. <laughs> g -Pa. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed our PSA announcement on this April 22nd, Earth Day. And I ask you to take a pledge, to decide today to do something and continue to do it that looks after the environment we live in because it is so special for us, for all the living things and for the future generations so that they can live and breathe in clean, fresh air. Until next time, I'm Brianna. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, and I will see you very, very soon. Have a lovely, wonderful day.